Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do something a little bit different and I am going to dye my hair red. What do you think? Is that going to be a nice shade on me. I have purchased two boxes of the L'Oreal Feria in R57. It is called Intense Medium Auburn. Ooh. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. I've got two boxes here because I have really thick hair and really long hair, so I need a lot of coverage. I just got all these new makeup products and colors, and I'm going to change my hair color, and I'm going to have to go get all new stuff. God forbid I have to buy more makeup. All right, so we are into the box. See all of the items that we have here. It comes with the instructions, which usually have like a little set of gloves inside. Ta-da. And then we have three steps, and each item is numbered. So this has the number one on it. This has the number two. I know this goes in there somewhere. Oh, here we go. Number three. So number one is the Shimmering Condition Color Gel. Number two is the Shimmering Condition Developer Cream. Number three is the Aromatic Shimmer Serum. And number four is the Power Shimmer Conditioner. Ah, I'm throwing things. And then nothing else is numbered. This just says conditioning shampoo. This is the color booster. And then it does come with some samples of L'Oreal Total Repair 5. Looks like shampoo and conditioner. Yeah, sample of that. And it should be the same thing in the other box as well. We have a bottle. All right, so exact same products times two. The first step is not in English. Here we go. All right. Immediately after mixing. So I guess step one is somewhere else. Okay. Here we go. All right. Step one. Be sure your hair is dry and unshampooed. Put on the gloves and drape a dark ta towel over your shoulder to protect clothing, which I'm just wearing an old tank top because I didn't want to have to worry about that. And I should take my necklace off, shouldn't I? Okay, we're gonna put on the gloves. I have gloves too. I'll use these first and then I'll break into my own pair if I need. Or actually, there's another pair of these black ones. They kind of suck because they don't like fit your hands really snugly. Kind of loose, but you know what? It does the job. I don't feel like digging my other ones out right now, so that's that. All right, snap tip off of the shimmering conditioning developer cream bottle. It's a lot of words for a simple task there. So snap the tip off of the shimmering conditioning developer cream bottle, which is number two. Oh look, it's already snapped off on this one. I wonder if that's okay. I guess we'll find out. It says pour all of number one into number two. That, sound, that sounds really bad, doesn't it? Try and say that with a straight face again, Kelly. We are pouring number three into number two. This is the Shimmer Serum going into the Shimmering Conditioner Developer Cream. Where's the Shimmering Cream for the other one? I don't have a shimmering cream for the other one. Okay, well, we'll have to carry on without it. Who would take it? All right, it says to take the color booster tube and put all of the contents into two. It says to be very careful when you do this because it is highly pigmented and will stain. And you don't want to lose any of it. You need that for it to have its full effect and it is leaking out just as they had said to be careful. Replace applicator cap on number two. Now I have red everywhere. See Kelly, this is why they said be careful. So we are going to put the lids back on both of these. 
One is missing the shimmer gel, but it didn't look like that was a major factor. It was more for like oil. It was oils to give you like a better shine. It doesn't really make a difference in the color from what I can tell. Maybe, maybe not. But I have the other one that does have it, so maybe when we mix it all together, it won't matter too much. Place your gloved finger over open tip, point away from your face, and shake well until contents are thoroughly mixed. Now this is very, very important, guys. You always shake away from your face, and I shouldn't shake towards the camera either, because who wants this stuff all over my camera? That would be awful. All right. So it just says until thoroughly mixed, and it appears to be thoroughly mixed. I'll do the other one here. All right, and then the next step whoosh, is to color up, it says. Immediately after mixing, squeeze color from bottle onto dry, unwashed hair, beginning in the front, working mixture gently through hair from root to end. We are going to start coloring my hair. Maybe I should move this to the bathroom. Should I move this to the bathroom, you guys? I feel like I don't care if I mess up the rug, but I don't want to mess up the bench I'm sitting on. So, yeah, let's go. All right, you guys, so I am ready to put the red shimmering cream developer solution in my hair this is going to be the hair dye it has all the ingredients mixed in that we did before i have two bottles because my hair is thick and long one of these bottles is missing an ingredient it was like the herbal oils the aromatic shimmer serum is what it was called it was not in the box for the second bottle of hair dye so it's missing that so i'm going to use the one that has it first as an all over and then i'm just going to use this as the additional mix in for any spots where it's a little bit dry so hopefully i will be able to get the missing ingredient pretty much everywhere in my hair because i do have it in the one bottle i'm not sure if it's really a necessary ingredient for the product to work properly anyway it might just be for like scenting and shininess or something like that um i'm sure it makes it look nicer it's in there for a reason but the fact that it's missing from half of my solution maybe not such a big deal <laughs> at least at least i'm hoping that so all right we're going to just start at the top as the instructions say and i'm doing this myself looking in the mirror so sorry if i'm not Oh my god, I just put it all over my hands like a flippin' idiot. Forgot it came with gloves, you guys. I can't believe I just did that. Like, such a fool. I think I caught it. My hand's like a little bit red, but it's not a huge deal. I think I got it out in time. Let me just clean these off. And I will put the gloves that are intended to be worn on. Alright, so we are going to start putting the product in my hair. So what I'm doing right now is just making sure that I look like a troll and all of my newest hair closest to the scalp is fully saturated because that's the hair that I'm going to have the longest. And I want to make sure that it's got the most of the hair dye on it. And I can just add the other bottle. I can just saturate the end with the other bottle. I've got plenty to do all of my hair. All right, I'm going to do one more quick coat of the side to the front with this bottle. Oh my God, y'all. There is some hair dye going on in here. All right, you guys, so I think that is pretty much good for this part of my hair. Now I am going to do the ends, get that fully saturated.
I can't find my hair clip, guys. That sucks. But I think my hair will stay up like that for just a minute. And while I do that, I just want to put a little bit more in this section and a little bit more in this section. And on the sides of my ears. Now I'm going to remove the gloves. I think my hair is fully saturated in the red dye. I have some bits on my face and my neck. I'm looking a little vampire-ish right now. Just going to take a piece of this towel and attempt to remove the places where I have some dye. The fact that I have a thick layer of foundation on might have helped keep the <laughs> hair dye. I still have like spots all over my arms, but that's okay. I will try and get as much of that off as I can when I get in the shower. Right now I need to let this sit. Um, I think it said 25 minutes. Yeah, so we're going to let it sit for 25 minutes and then go rinse it out. So I will check back in with you guys then. All right, guys, I am just waiting for my dye to set, eating a little snack. This is pumpkin cheesecake Yoplait Whips Greek 100. It's really good. I have about 15 more minutes to kill, and then I get to go wash all this stuff off. Hopefully all the little spots will come off too. <laughs> I'm so hungry, you guys. I've been filming all day. And all I've had is a bowl of cereal this morning. And it's almost 6 o'clock. So. If you guys didn't notice. I did all of this without parting my hair. It's probably not the best way to do it. Probably should have parted it. I did mermaid, mermaid eyes. In honor of Ariel, my favorite Disney princess who has red hair. But I don't know if they're going to survive the rinsing out of the dye. I'm probably going to get in the shower and like rinse my my whole head and I may lose the eyes. Oh well. Mm. Let's see how much longer I've got here. 5.43. So I'm only like <laughs> 9, 8 minutes into this thing. Oh my god. I've already gone downstairs, taken the dog out, ate a yogurt, and it only took me nine minutes. Like, I still have a bunch of minutes left. I have 16 more minutes. I'm going to go clean up the bathroom. How about that? Okay, so the next step is going to be rinse it out. I've got a couple minutes left, but I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys what we're going to do. I'm going to rinse it out, and I'm going to use the Feria shampoo. So first this, wash, rinse, repeat. And then the conditioner leave in for two minutes and then rinse out so I'm gonna go get started on that right now all right you guys so I just got out of the shower I rinsed all of the red out as much as I could you can see that there's really no staining around the edges of my face most of that washed right off just with a little bit of water I didn't even use soap on my face because you can see I still have a whole face of makeup on so let's go give this hair uh, dry with the blow dryer and see how the red looks. Alright, so I never use a hair dryer and I don't want to fully dry my hair because I really like the air dried look with my hair. I have a lot of natural waves that I just really love to use and maximize. So I am going to let my hair dry on its own for a couple more minutes and then I will check back in with you guys. But I am super loving it so far. Yes, 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 yes. I love the red color. How's it look with the eyes, hmm? Okay. All right, you guys, this is it. I have finished rinsing and conditioning and drying my new red hair. So tell me what you think. Do you love it? Have you used this product before? Is there another one that you think I should try next? I am really, really pleased with the way this looks right now. The real question is how is it gonna hold up? So I guess I will get the answer to that question pretty soon. 
and I will let you guys know and if you have any other questions let me know down in the comments thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later bye